So I guess this is my video diary for my future self. So I just did my first dose of Lakeovi 0.25. I thought it was gonna hurt. It hurts a little tiny bit, like the initial hit, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. I actually put it right in between the owl. So it wasn't too bad. See, trying to get rid of all of this. Um yeah. Currently I weigh 278 pounds. And hopefully with all of this, I will lose weight. Currently, I'm on the road for a gastric bypass. And I'm excited. I'm nervous. But it feels good to be able to be in a position where I am able to do all of these things. Um, when I was younger, having PCOS, being diagnosed with PCOS at the age of 13 was a big toll. You know, we didn't have the best insurance. We had Am Better Health, which is through the Obamacare Foundation. And it didn't really cover like fees to go to a very good endocrinologist or like a good, um, nutritionists like we all we were very limited to where we can go and so now thankfully I'm able to get this done and you know I feel like being I'm a lab rat again but I think I'm with the right doctors that know more I think that I'm more knowledgeable of my PCOS and I've tried a lot of ways to lose weight and, you know, I was able to go down to, I, th I think it was like 223, but it wasn't really like the true healthy way. Um, when I did it with Tommy, which was my personal trainer in 2019, no, 2018, you know, I was working out, I was doing good. I, I started at 286. That was my highest weight recorded. And I was able to get to 256, 256, 255. And I was very proud of myself. I felt stronger, more energetic, losing weight, all that good stuff. And I was able to keep it off for a bit and I was able to go down. But when I stopped going to the gym, you know, I then tried to lose weight by juicing and it worked. But the main thing was that I was making myself throw up. I was scared to eat. So I would just eat, go to the bathroom, made the excuse like, oh, it didn't sit well in my stomach. And I was happy with who I saw in the mirror because I was losing weight. But mentally, I wasn't happy because I knew I wasn't doing it correctly. But now, um, I'm ready to really lose this weight and keep it off for good. Very, very nervous to do this video because I'm afraid that I'll end up regaining all the weight again. Um, I don't have a set date for my gastric bypass and I know I had to be a certain weight to qualify, which I am a good candidate now because I'm my BMI is around 442. I do have to contact my doctor because since I'm doing this, I may be losing weight and I don't know, I will then still be a candidate afterwards, so I don't know. Um, 
but even if this helps me lose about 10 to 15 pounds before my surgery, I would be really happy. I have bittersweet thoughts of like working out alone. Um, one of the reasons is that I'm afraid that because I don't have Tommy there like encouraging me, right? Because it's also holding myself accountable, right? I had, I was paying money to go to the gym. I, you know, I had a contract. If not, I will lose my money, all that good stuff at LA Fitness. So I had to hold myself accountable. And I wasn't, I wasn't a very good, healthy state of mind. But now I just feel as though it's now 2022 and I'm just afraid that when I get on the treadmill or just go to the gym in general, the weight won't come off. It's a weird fear, but I feel as though, yeah, I know what to do, but I feel like if I do all of this again, that is just going to end up in failure, right? Because there's a lot of times where I lose weight and the weight will stay off for a bit or I'll lose weight and I'll stay stagnant and all of that good stuff. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to be posting this on YouTube. And if I do, there it is. Because I would like to meet other people who are going through this journey. Right now, I shaved my face. So with my PCOS, let me see what I can. Yeah, you can see. With my PCOS, I literally grow a beard. All of that shade is where my hair would grow super patchy. And with that, the new medicine that they put me on is called, let me cover, it's this one. If you tell me to pronounce it, girl, hmm, you need thyroid. Commonly known as levothyroid, I guess. And this is supposedly, it should be with, um, it's for the hairism, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm really nervous to start this journey. <laughs> I think I have the knowledge. I know everything that I have to do for the gastric bypass, and I think I'm going to make another video for it. This is a very informal video. But I want to be raw and truthful, you know, like these things are not easy. Um, who knew that at 27, I would be sitting in my bathroom, right? With all of these medications and getting ready to, you know, inject myself with something to help me lose weight. But I think the whole point is starting somewhere. I was able to, I went to an endocrinologist here. I live in Sanford, Florida, and I went to Regency Endocrinology. And one thing I was telling them that I was really worried about is kind of, you can see the darkening on my neck. I've always had that, but it started to spread. And I was a little bit worried about that. And so I went and the first thing that they said was like, have you ever tried this like weight loss medication? But this weight loss medication is for also like women who have PCOS because what it does is um, what normally Wegovy does is it sends signals to your brain that you're full and in your gut, it actually slows down something else. I don't know, I should know all of this, but in my next video, I guess I'll go more in detail. <sighs> this is just like one of my confessions, I guess. Um, yeah, it's 
gonna be short, sweet, to the point. If anyone does see this video, who knows? Um, and you would like to go on this journey with me, let me know. I would love to, you know, meet a community of people who we want better for ourselves, right? We are seeking help from our physicians or doctors because we're at a point that what else can we do? You know, having PCOS, there's no cure for it. And it's just a whirlwind of emotions, right? Me being diagnosed with generalized anxiety, with depression, obesity. It's a lot to take in, but this is just a confession video once again. And yeah. Okay, bye. Oh, and even though I maybe or maybe not be posting it on YouTube, but for my future self, I would like to say that I'm proud of you for taking this step. I'm getting emotional. Yeah, and I'm very blessed to be in a position where I have a loving wife, a supportive family. Yeah. We got this.